Hello everyone, welcome to Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to solve this interesting integral, integral from 0 to infinity, arc cotangent of ax times arc cotangent of bx dx. Well, how to begin? What technique uh, do you have to use? Well, uh, we can uh, differentiate under integral sign. So I'm going to take first our integral is equal to i uh, then I'm going to differentiate with respect to a and with respect to b. So we can write uh, partial uh, derivative uh, here tau of a tau of b is equal to integral from 0 to infinity. Now we know our cotangent of ax uh, derivative of our cotangent of ax with respect to a we have minus x over a square x square plus 1 times uh, derivative of uh, cotangent of bx with respect to b we have minus x over b square x square plus 1 d uh, sorry yes dx okay then uh, we can simplify minus minus we know plus so 0 to infinity x square over a square x square plus 1 times b square x square plus 1 dx now uh, partial fraction decomposition so we can write 0 to infinity now here uh, if we take uh, this part a square x square plus 1 uh, now uh, we know uh, if we plug in uh, minus 1 over a square so we have minus 1 over here uh, a square minus b square then plus b square x square plus 1 uh, same as here a square minus b square here 1 dx okay then now we can take a square minus b square as a common factor so 1 over a square minus b square integral from 0 to infinity 1 over uh, b square x square plus 1 minus 1 over a square x square plus 1 dx okay then uh, we can integrate because uh, both uh, integrals are uh, arctane so here 1 over a square minus b square times now here uh, 1 over a we know 1 so here we should uh, multiply by we should divide by the coefficient of x so we have 1 over b arc tan of bx minus 1 over a arc tan of ax from 0 to infinity now if we plug in 0 we know 0 if we plug in infinity pi over 2 so we have 1 over a square minus b square times pi over 2 uh, 1 over b minus 1 over a so we can simplify a yeah a minus b over a b now we know a minus b uh, get cancelled so we have pi over 2 times a b times a plus b okay now uh, we know uh, da for i square i over da for a da for b is equal to pi over 2 times a b times a plus b okay then uh, i'm going to integrate uh, with respect to b so here we have uh, dot phi over dot phi is equal to pi over 2 times a is a constant so here we have db db over b times a plus b b times a plus b okay now uh, here pi over 2 times a now we can uh, simplify like a plus b a plus b minus b now we know b get cancelled but here we multiply by a so here a square over b times a plus b d b 
okay then uh, pi over 2 times a square now here if we uh, divide by a plus b we know a plus b get cancelled here we have 1 over b and uh, here b get cancelled 1 over a plus b so we have natural log of b minus natural log of a plus b according to property of natural log we can write natural log of b over a plus b plus c1 okay then uh, we can find uh, c1 easily uh, because here if we differentiate with respect to a we know uh, minus x over x square x square plus 1 times our cotangent of bx so we know when uh, b approaches to infinity c1 is equal to 0 so we have uh, dafa i over dafa a is equal to pi over 2 times a square uh, natural log of b over a plus b okay then uh, we should uh, integrate uh, with respect to a so we can write uh, i is equal to integration of pi over 2 times a square natural log of b over a plus b d a okay then uh, here if we take uh, like natural log of a plus b over b raised to the minus 1 this minus 1 we can write in front of uh, natural log and also at the same time you know pi over 2 is a constant so we can write i is equal to minus pi over 2 integral 1 over a square natural log of a plus b over b d a okay then mm, now uh, I'm going to simplify a little bit minus pi over 2 1 over a square natural log of now if we divide it by b here we have 1 plus a over b d a well uh, then uh, we can integrate uh, integrate by parts ibp so we have here minus pi over 2 now uh, integration of 1 over a square so here minus 1 over a times natural log of 1 plus a over b uh, then minus but here minus 1 over a so plus integral now rewrite uh, 1 over a then derivative of natural log of uh, a plus a over b we know 1 over 1 plus a over b times coefficient of a so 1 over b b get cancelled so we have 1 over a plus b d a okay then uh, sorry here parenthesis now we can write here now we can take minus sign as a common factor so here pi over 2 times 1 over a natural log of 1 plus a over b uh, then here we know minus uh, now we can write here a a plus b uh, so here a plus b minus a now a get cancelled here b so we should write 1 over b d a okay then uh, here pi over 2 1 over a natural log of 1 plus a over b uh, then here uh, we have uh, a plus b get cancelled so 1 over a minus a get cancelled 1 over b natural log of a minus natural log of a plus b if we take minus sign here minus 1 over b natural log uh, a plus b over b plus uh, yeah plus c2 now we know when a approaches to infinity c2 is equal to zero so we have i is equal to pi over 2 1 over a natural log of 1 plus a over b plus 1 over b natural log of 1 plus uh, 1 plus a over sorry here a plus b over um, a a plus b over a sorry so here 1 plus b over b over a okay this is the answer for our integral if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching